Hey, thanks so much for tuning into the Daily Dose for Spiritual Girl. Today is Soak It Up Saturday. We're in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10. If you have your Bibles, you know, all week we've been talking about how Jesus is better and how we can easily fall short of that because we are trusting in something else. And really what that is, is idolatry, which we talked about on Sunday morning. So I want to encourage you, if you missed any of these days or if you missed the Sunday service, Last Sunday, I want to encourage you to go back and watch it because that is an acceptable sin that we can easily creep into our lives and have it be okay when in reality, it's not. And so today I've got uh, a port. This portion of scripture has such depth to it uh, and that I want you to take some time for Soak It Up Saturday to read through it several times, to write it out and, and allow yourself to be challenged and encouraged by these scriptures right here. Hebrews chapter 10 starting in verse 19, this call to perseverance, this call to, to keep going and what should our attitude be and, and how should our posture be as we've talked about throughout this week. Here we go. Verse 19, and so dear brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. By his death, Jesus opened a new and life-giving way through the curtain into the most holy place. I'm going to pause right there because that is speaking such depth right there in contrast to the Old Testament. The old way, there was actually um, this uh, place of holy of holies, which only the high priest could go in and can only go in certain times and have to go into a curtain and to go into the presence of God. See, and now the author of Hebrews right here is just saying, hey, it doesn't have to be like that anymore. Actually, you go boldly to the throne because of the blood of Jesus. He tore that curtain away. We can just call upon the name of the Lord because of Jesus's blood and what he, the sacrifice that he made for us. And so, so they uh, tore the curtain into the most holy place. And since we have a great high priest who rules over God's house, that's Jesus, let us go right into the presence of God with sincere hearts, fully trusting him. For we are, for our guilty consciences have been sprinkled with Christ's blood to make us clean, and our bodies have been washed with pure water. I mean, such depth right there. I want to encourage you to really dive into these scriptures right here. Let us hold tightly without wavering, verse 23, without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. You know, there's a lot of people in our lives that, that promise us things. Oh, there's a guarantee. You can trust a guarantee. One thing we have to understand is that anything of this world, it's broken. That's what we can trust. But what we can trust with Jesus is that he keeps his promise. And so we can hold firmly to that tightly without wavering, without second guessing. See, we can put our trust in Jesus and not have buyer's remorse, if, if you can say it like that. You can, you can put your faith in Jesus confidently because he's going to keep his promises every time. And let us and let us think of ways to motivate one another to acts of love and good works, good service. So because you've experienced the grace of God, let's motivate others to do the same thing. And verse 25, last verse here. And let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. And talking about corporate worship, talking about small groups, talking about how we need to encourage one another together collectively. God did not create us, created us to be in isolation. Actually, we can't grow in isolation. We need to be rubbing shoulders with other people, encouraging one another. So let's not neglect meeting together. Hey, that's the jam-packed uh, scriptures right there. I want to encourage you, sit down. Write them out. Memorize something. You know, allow this to, to soak you up and permeate who you are. Go to God and say, God, how are you challenging me in these verses today? Hey, thank you so much for tuning in. I want to encourage you to join us in person for week number two of Acceptable Sins tomorrow at 1015 in person, right on Main Street in Shrewsbury, otherwise online, and then on Monday for another Daily Dose for Spiritual Growth.